Well, hello guys and welcome to Mr. Web Reviews and today I'm going to show you how to add product variations in WooCommerce. So basically how to offer the same product in different sizes or colors for instance. And as a bonus I'm going to show you as well how to make these variations more user friendly with a free plugin and your variations will be easy to visualize for your visitors which in turn might lead to more sales and higher conversion as well. Okay so let's see how we can do that okay guys for this tutorial i went ahead and installed a demo content here so that's a woocommerce e-commerce platform uh, containing a uh, ladies dresses as you can see here so let's click on the red one for now there you go and as you can see this one is only available in red so let's see how we can configure this product to be available in red in black and white maybe so for that we go back to our dashboard we go into uh, products all products and then we open our red dress there you go so this is our uh, product page and from here we need to change the product type because at the moment it's a simple product so we want to change that to a variable product so that's our first step and there you go and then we go into attributes and now we have to go and insert our different attributes, which will be used for our variation. So in our case here, we're going to set up the colors. So we click add. And then we're going to name this color. And as you can see, we need to put all the attributes separated by a pipe symbol. So you can see that that line here, that's called a pipe symbol in between the different values. So we're going to type in red and then pipe symbol and then um, we said black oops black and then we had white and then we should not forget to tick here used for variations we save this now and then we go into our variations after this so right here and we're going to select create variations from all attributes so what this is going to do is do it automatically basically it's going to fetch all the the attributes and create each and every variation possible so we don't have to do it manually basically so in our case here is going to create three different variations which are our three colors red black and white so let's go ahead with this okay three variations added as expected you know so we have red black and white now you can expand all these and you can change the price maybe the red one is more expensive than the black and the white or either way basically you know so the price would be i'm going to put here maybe um, for this one uh, 250 for the red one and i'm going to say 199 for the black and 199 for this one uh, let's go and even two four nine and then once you're done you click update and from here if you refresh our product page you can see that now visitors are uh, can select different colors uh, we can select the red, the black, or the white, and you can see the price can vary from 199 up to 249. So if we pick the red one, that's 249. If we pick the black, that's 199, and the white is 199 as well. So this is basically how you add uh, variations. Now let's say you have three different colors and then they come in different sizes, small, medium, and large, let's say. So let me show you how to do that now. So let's go back to our product page and now we're going back to attributes and we're going to create a new attribute. And in here we're going to put size. And again, separated by the pipe symbol. So I'm going to say small pipe symbol, a medium. Oops. And then large. Why not? Then used for variations again. So we're going to save this now and we're going to go into our variations now and what i want to do what we're going to do now is basically remove these ones and recreate them again so if we go into our variations and we can select delete all variations go okay and 
and then we're going to add create variations from all attributes so now we're going to have in red we'll have variations in red red small red medium red large and then black black uh, small medium and large and then white white small medium and large so it will create all the variations based on the attributes uh, we set up there so we create yes go on go ahead nine variations added now so as you can see we have the red small red medium red large black small black medium black large and so on so if we expand everything here we go ahead and we set our red one was 249 so all the red ones are 249 and let's say the black one 199 this one is 199 this one is 199 again and you do the same thing with all your variations set up you need to set the price for each one of them and then you click save changes and now don't forget at the end to click update because your your variations are and attributes are, are saved but your product page isn't so you still have to click update just to make sure you save everything properly and when it's done if we refresh now you can select among all these different options now you can have a red one in small or red one in medium or a black one in small and so on and now let me show you how we can replace those drop down menus with actual icons so for instance for the red it'd be a, a rounded shape red and then for the black a round red and then a round white so people can see immediately which color instead of having to click on the drop down menu and the same for the size so let me show you how to do this so we go back to our uh, wordpress uh, installation we go into plugins add new and in the search box you're going to look for variation swatches for woocommerce like this and as you can see we have our example here so basically what it does let me open this and have a screenshot maybe instead of having a drop down menu you have the color immediately here or you can have pictures of the different items or you can have the different sizes like here you see or you can have large medium small extra large as an icon so it is much easier for your visitors to visualize what's available so we click on install and then activate and from here you can take the time to go through the different uh, tutorials uh, you have live vi uh, video previews now uh, you can go through you know how to use this this plugin but for now i'm just going to show you uh, quickly uh, the features uh, which can help you to actually display uh, visually uh, all the the options and the, all the variations so for that we go back to our product at the moment so let's go back here so the, this is what we have at the moment so we have a drop down menu but now that we've activated variation swatches if we refresh this page you can see that now it's more visual we have the colors here red black white and then small medium and large which is much easier to select so if i was to click on this and then this there you go or i can go on to this one or this one and i can change and cross-reference any of those products which is very convenient indeed now if you wanted to have these in with a different background color like the red in red the black in black and the white in white uh, you could change that but unfortunately this is not a free feature so you might leave it as is for now but if you're going to style here tooltip background that's what it's called that's a pro feature you see all you have to do basically after that is upgrade to premium and as you can see it's uh, 49 for a starter pack for or a year so you could go ahead just with this and go ahead and, and buy it you know but otherwise i think it's fine the way it is already it's very nice but now if you want to add an extra kick an extra uh, uh visual impact and easiness of uh selection you could have the color instead and as always i'll leave a link in the description below 
So there you go guys, as you can see it's pretty straightforward to add variations to your WooCommerce products. Now if you have any questions or any requirements maybe regarding a video I could make for you guys, please leave a comment below. Alright then, that's all for today. I hope you found this helpful. If so, please consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you won't miss a single update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.